This student hit 6,000 internet sites with his worm just for fun. Robert Morris decided to look at the scale of the internet and conduct a census of users for interest. He wrote the most complex code that could surf the internet on its own and prevent attempts to destroy it. The spread of the worm was helped by two light passwords of mail server users. In order not to be found, the worm opened its executable file, renamed the process to sh, and branched every three minutes. But because of an error in the program, computers began to run the worm dozens of times, which led to a reboot of the server. So, within a few hours, computers across the country were disabled, and damage from the network worm was estimated at $96.5 million. It took five days for great programmers to stop everything. And then Morris will go through a suspended sentence of three years, 400 hours of community service, and a fine of $10,050.